Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we take our first look at the new patch notes for the upcoming patch. First of all, these are preliminary patch notes. Things can change between these and the official patch notes that you guys will receive in a link. So keep that in mind. Uh, server maintenance is scheduled to take place Monday, May 17th. Uh, maintenance times will be from 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. Central Time, which is 7 to 10 a.m. UTC on both PlayStation and Xbox. We do not know what the update size will be at this time. The campaign is a tall glass of victory campaign. Champagne, a project for a battleship that's rather similar to Gasconia, is the centerpiece of the new campaign. She finds herself at Tier 7 and offers quickly traversing triple gun turrets that are among the most accurate for battleships. As a matter of fact, her 406mm guns are of the highest caliber among our Marine National ships so far. Champagne is also pretty swift, clocking in at 34 knots when sailing at full speed. If need be, she can reach her objective even faster by activating her engine boost consumable. Campaign Quick Facts Weekly Havoc missions are locked to the weeks they start in. Legendary ships can be used for skill-based challenges once you've, you're done with the shakedown trials, but they do not share mission progress with other ship tiers. Hard mode tasks are part of the Weekly Havoc missions and will allow you to complete the campaign's 100 milestones a week earlier if completed. To unlock Champagne, you will need to complete the 100, ch or 100 milestones and acquire the Admiralty backing. Below are the exact rewards you can get for completing the campaign with and without the Admiralty backing. Without Admiralty backing, you get all of this and this, which is a uh, 15,608 doubloon value. And then with Admiralty backing, you also get all of this, which totals up to a total of 68,460 doubloons worth of stuff. And then we have our Godzilla vs. Kong event. Our newest collaboration features two mighty titans, the King of Nature, Godzilla, and Apex uh, Predator, Kong. You can get them as commanders with the unique skills and special voiceovers, while each also gets their own Tier 5 premium battleship. Heat Ray for Godzilla and Primal for Kong. Additionally, we're introducing two themed disposable camouflages, camouflages good lord, and a special container that can drop the aforementioned content. Additional patches will also be available within specific bundles. Commander skills for Godzilla, you're going to have hor uh, Horrifying Gaze, which is the base trait, which reduces the spotter reload time and increases its duration, and Thick Hide, which decreases the chances of catching fire and increases maximum hit points regenerated by the repair party. And then you have Kong, Battle, uh, battle Axe is the base trait, which increases the damage of your battleship's AA guns. And Tear Off the Wings increases the damage of your battleship's AA guns and increases the survivability of AA mounts by 100%. You'll be able to find Godzilla vs. Kong content in the store for the entire duration of the update until June 21st. Please note that in Legends, the Godzilla content is associated with the Japanese nation while the Kong ship and commander are American. Next, we have the two new ships coming, two new legendary ships coming to the Bureau. We have Club Air and Worcester. We're adding two more challengers to the legendary fleet. They are Club Air, a French speed demon, uh, has main battery reload booster at her disposal, but lacks smoke generator. So she's a French destroyer that doesn't have smoke, but she has the reload booster, pretty normal. Uh, she improves on Lay Fantastic qualities, bringing great competition to Kaba, Shima, and Gearing. USS Worcester, a fire slinging cruiser that you may remember from our Rent a Legendary event back in January, remains as she was back then, with numerous rapid fire uh, guns, arcing shell trajectories, and a sturdy bow. However, her survivability when showing her broadside is severely limited, much like the other American light cruisers. Both projects are similar in structure to previous legendary entries, and we do not plan to deprecate them in the foreseeable future, meaning they will stay in the Bureau for as long as we know. Okay. Next, we have Ranked Battles Seasons 12 and 13. 
The previous two ranked sprints were a success, but we also received some feedback about them not being enough of a challenge. Therefore, we're trying another new format that we that will allow more casual players to enjoy the seasons, while the more competitive among you will be able to fight tooth and nail to get to rank 1. We'll share the full rule set and rewards list on Wednesday, May 19th, but to feed your curiosity, here are some of the important changes you can expect. Each season is 12 days long, and they start on May 20th and June 3rd, respectively. The latter consists of 11 ranks split into three leagues. Each league has its own specific ship tier and team size. Moreover, the team sizes are dynamic, and smaller teams will be formed if the matchmaker is taking too long. There are fewer save points on the ladder. However, the, base, or the best players on the losing team save their stars. The top two players in League 3 and the top player in League 2. No stars are saved for players on the losing team in, in League 1. Steel badges can be earned by rank, reaching rank 7, with more becoming available at rank number 1, or rank 1. Aircraft carriers are not deployable in ranked ba battles, thank god. You can display your win rate and check others' stats after battles. I don't think that would be necessary, but, you know, if you want to check everybody's stats after the match, I guess more power to you. Balance changes. There are quite a few balance changes this time around, mostly buffs to ships that we have noticed had started lagging with their main metrics a little bit. We already made a few changes to aircraft carriers throughout April, so they remain as is for now. But pay attention to the very end of this section to see what has changed in regards to anti-air damage. Now, I'm not going to read through all these buffs. You guys can uh, just pause and look at them. So I'm just going to say Indianapolis, Indianapolis B, Mogami, Hipper, Baltimore, New Orleans, all get buffs. For destroyers, you get Lay Fantask actually gets a nerf, Kagero, Benson, and Fletcher all get buffs. Balance changes to the anti-air suites. Anti-air damage has been tweaked in such a way that the continuous damage from AA is is higher, but there are fewer flat clouds. This mean or this has been done to reward successful squadron maneuvers and make AA damage more predictable. That'll be interesting. Store coupons. Starting with this update, we're introducing a way to make your purchases more comfortable or lucrative throughout the or through the use of coupons. Coupons allow you to either reduce the price of a bundle or item or get something extra with your purchase. We'll release a separate post on our blog soon that explains exactly what coupons do and how you can get them. Stay tuned. Miscellaneous changes and improvements. The legendary card of the premium supplies mission set now requires you to achieve 7 victories instead of 5, but also rewards you with 100 steel. We've added a few additional historical camos that you can create using paint. As a reminder, each camo costs 75 paint to create, and each grade gets uh, requires extra paint to upgrade, so 150, 250, 350 for grades 2 through 4. The ships are Icarus, Jervis, Lightning, Colorado, Iowa, Benson, and Fletcher. Bug fixes. You can now create permanent camos for Gearing and Conqueror. Thank you. Remo uh, removed the Roman numerals from consumable names. Fixed a bug that rarely caused the game to crash on PS4 when leaving a battle. Removed the extra AA guns title lines from AA suite descriptions. And AA gun calibers are now correctly shown in the loadout. Premium store news. This update, we are likely, with 90% certainty, to offer the following premium ships in our store. Soviet Tier 5 Cruiser Admiral Makarov and a German Tier 6 Destroyer Z-35. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I tried to make it as, as painless and quick as possible while giving you as much information as I can. So let me know what you guys think about the patch down in the comments. And as always... Punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.